This, this is the moment. Watch this video twice. When you no longer fear dying, what else can life threaten you with? What else? See, when, when you are willing to risk all of it. See, that's, that's what life is. See, you've got to be willing to give it all up. When I visit students, I also tell them that the greatest risk they take is not taking one. I'll tell you how risky life is. You're not going to get out alive. What I mean by that is I need you to go 10 years into the future, 20 years into the future, and I need you to see yourself actually becoming the person you want to be. Because you have to understand, this next five year window is when you don't go practical and safe. This is not the time to get the job mom wanted you to. This is not the time to try to maximize as much money so you can buy a, a fat whip. When you're willing to, to throw it all on the line, that's when life takes on a whole new dimension. See, most people won't do that. They won't risk that. So decide to take some risks. You want to break the routine. Most people go through life following that routine and we know that that is a living death. Going through life, playing it safe, is it, it, you're like a breathing corpse. Because the only way that you can grow, you've got to risk. The only way that you can become your best, you have got to risk. You've got to challenge yourself. You've got to venture into the unknown. You've got to take some chances. Got to put you on the line. Sometimes by trying to solve your own problem, you're solving everybody else's problems. Because um, generally, if you want to affect the world, you have to change yourself first. Everybody tries to go out and change the world by changing other people and other things. But the real way to do it is by changing yourself. And sometimes making those really uncomfortable choices to go up against everyone in your life that you look up to and take that risk or go do this thing that nobody else is doing. I think that you have to take risks all the time. If you don't do that, you, you don't move forward. What changes our whole life is action. Why don't we take action? Fear. What do we gotta do to get ourselves to do it? We gotta make sure that we push ourselves through it by making a decision. The minute you were born, it got risky. If you think trying is risky, wait till they hand you the bill for not trying. If you think investing is risky, wait till you get the tab for not investing. See, it's all risky. Getting married is risky. Having children is risky. Going into business is risky. Investing your money is risky. It's all risky. Because to really, truly be creative, you have to be willing to take risks. You have to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to fail. This is the best and easiest five years of your life because this is when you need to attack what you love and what you want to do. The problem is everybody wants the prize, but nobody wants to pay the price, right? Everybody wants the prize, but nobody's willing to pay the price. Nobody's willing to put in the work. Nobody's willing to, to make the sacrifice. Nobody's willing to, to eat their own, you know, to make it happen, you know? Everybody's expecting it to be easy. I was just giving a talk the other day to school and someone said, well, why would I choose that way? That's much harder. That way's a lot harder. Why would I choose that direction? And I was like, man, we didn't, what are we, why are we talking about hard versus easy? Nobody said this was gonna be easy. We don't want it to be easy. If it was easy, then everybody would be doing it, right? So in order to have that sense of fulfillment, getting out of your comfort zone, as you get out of your comfort zone, you expand your whole life. The more you do, the more you realize you can do. You expand your capacity. You expand your potential. You expand your horizons. You expand your vision of yourself and of life. You expand your participation in life. You're involved in life more. You'll get more out of life because you're putting more into life than most people. That's why it's so important that we're willing to take some risks. I don't know exactly what to do. It's okay. You'll find out. You either learn that you're going in the right direction or the wrong direction.
And from that you learn, you'll get some feedback. The universe will tell you, where do I get started? Just get started. The universe will give you immediate feedback. Here's something else. Choose to be happy in spite of life's challenges. In spite of life's challenges. Life changes every day. Sometimes things will be going your way. Sometimes things work well for you. Sometimes it won't work so well. Sometimes you'll have your health, you're feeling good and energetic, have a yes I can attitude and, and there's some things that can happen to you in life that can take all of that from you. All of that can go. Sometimes you might be financially secure and a sickness, one sickness can wipe out an illness. Life always change. But you can choose, you can choose in the midst of all of this that's going on to be happy in spite of it. In the good times and in the bad times, you can make a choice. So even if a cloud of sorrow comes over here, ain't it fine today? Living in the moment, getting everything we can out of where we are in the moment where we are right now. Living in the present. If it wasn't difficult, then everybody would be doing it. There'd only be, you know, everybody would be an entrepreneur, everybody would be a billionaire, everybody would be a successful athlete or, or artist or, or businessman or salesperson or, or a scientist. Everybody would be doing it, right? It's not supposed to be easy. You shouldn't want it to be easy, right? The, the, the minute someone tells me that they, they're looking for, you know, what's the easiest way to do it or, or, or the fastest way to do it, I immediately, see, in my mind, if, I, you know, if I'm feeling generous, I'll tell them right then, I'm like, bro, you know, ma'am, sir, I'm sorry, but I think you should try something else. Like, you've got the wrong mindset. Like, if you're looking at what's easy and fast, like, you know, go, <laughs> go to McDonald's or work that nine to five. But we're talking about if you have a dream, if you have a mission, if you have a passion, this shit is not going to be easy, you know? Easy shouldn't even be in the conversation or, the, or, or, or in your vocabulary. This is supposed to be hard. You should want it to be hard because then no one can replicate what you create. The most important thing that you have to understand when you embark on anything of value and of meaning is that it's not going to be easy. Failure has such a negative connotation in our society and I think this is totally unfair because what failure really is, is the opportunity to learn. If we never failed, it would never occur to us to do things differently. You would just keep doing the same thing because it would always work. But the world changes, people change, and so we have to change. We have to fail in order to succeed. Decide to live your fantasy. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands, satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. So look at your life and decide what it is that you want to do that will give your life a sense of worth. Someone said that your life worth is measured by your accomplishments and not by your complaints. You want to have a fulfilling life? Decide not to make your life predictable. To some people, their lives are very predictable. They got a little routine, they do that, and they follow that day in and day out. Day in and day out. You don't get much juice and happiness out of life like that if you're predictable. You want to change it up. Variety most certainly is the spice of life. Here's something else. Want to create a greater sense of fulfillment? Challenge your fears. Challenge them. Look those fears in the face and take them on. Don't allow them to rule you. Decide that you're going to take some chances. You've got to be willing to risk. If you're not willing to risk, you can't grow in life. Life has no power when you're not willing to risk. It's that to laugh is to risk appearing the fool. To weep is to risk appearing sentimental. To reach out for another is to risk involvement. To expose feelings is to risk exposing your true self. To place your ideas, your dreams before a crowd is to risk their loss. To love is to risk not being loved in return. To live is to risk dying. To hope is to risk despair. To try is to risk failure. But risk must be taken because the greatest hazard in life is to risk nothing. 
The person who risks nothing, does nothing, has nothing, is nothing. They may avoid suffering and sorrow, but they cannot learn, feel, change, grow, love, and live. Chained by their certitudes, they are a slave. They have forfeited their freedom. Only a person who risks is free.